Uh, I want to welcome you this evening in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's the most important reason we're here. Uh, we got a bunch of rambunctious teenagers and, uh, and teachers and it's uh, probably a good thing with all this, but it's just one thing that I hope it always does. But uh, <laughs> I hope and I pray that we all come here with one thing in our, in our heart and our mind to search out the past few years and all the things we've done for them. You know, to celebrate this Christmas season without Christ, there would be no Christmas. There wouldn't be a reason for it. So, you know, we need to, all things need to point to that. Still this stuff. Uh, I know in today's world, in today's time, that all points to a commercial part of Christmas. It's all about the wrapping paper and the experiment and what I get. It's not about the uh, giving anymore. But, you know, and I don't know, it's the that we try to give our kids the very best that we can afford, the very best that we can give. So we need to realize that uh, we can't out give God. No matter how much we give, God always gives more. Uh, we need to register and that's the statement. So, uh, and I know that we've all got the prayer request that's on our heart. I know that we've had some anxious prayer this week. So thankful for that. Uh, but we're not going to take a long time for that. I mean, God knows our heart. So if you have a prayer request, you put a raise in your hands and you get those thoughts to take some more and pray and more than you under a program. As we do this, uh, just to let you know that after this, uh, after this, Program here, we we'll, we we'll the small children first. I think we can have black. from unknown center. We'll have here some uh, some uh, fruit bags back here at the back for you. We'll have some of those, and we'll have some uh, finger food and some refreshments now. over here in the children's hall here across the across the yard. After all this is said and done, so uh, we'd love to have you stay with us and go as far as that. So, let's go. Sorry, I'm having trouble. I'm just coming, gracious Heavenly Father, dear Lord. I'd like to thank you for so last coming to your house again, dear Lord. I'd like to thank you for all the prayers that's been answered this week. You know all about it. It's been, it's been a children week for some of us, dear Lord. You have prevailed as you always do. I'd just like for everyone here to remember that you are the reason for this week. I pray for it, sir. It's not to give. All that is it's your gift. It's just a eternal salvation. I want all to remember that. In the most precious name that we pray. Amen. 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 I'm not moving this microphone because uh, it just gives them a reason to play with it when they get up here. So I don't need the microphone. Some of them will, but... Um, I do want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, we've struggled with our little ones for a while because it's hard to get everybody together. It's a busy season to begin with. But I'm so glad that even at the last minute we pulled it all together. And they are super cute once you see them. It's well worth it. But uh, we're going to get started. I have the little ones. And we're an all-female crew. Um, some of us will have to have some boys, is all I tell you. Uh, uh, all our little ones came together, and I got to looking around, and I thought, well, it's all girls. Uh, we've got girls now. But uh, they do a wonderful job, and we're going to get started. So. <clears throat> Let's travel back to Bethlehem, this season of Christ's birth, and listen to the angel song of peace to will to earth. <clears throat> to the stable, what a friendly place to lay the holy child. With fragrant hay and cattle lowing and sheep so they can mild. Each animal must have loved him, this child upon the hay, knowing that he was special, that he came to show man the way.
that was a good idea. Besides, he says, I could bring a real live dog and maybe even a camel. What do you say? Don't give me any of this. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Thank you. Come on, let's go make something volunteer for the fiasco in the first place. Oh. What do you say? I was complaining about the small scale treatment program, that there wasn't enough involvement with the congregation. Let me guess. Did Mama hurt you? Yep. Before I knew it, I was walking away with a script and a party. Hey, you're a phone book. Only with your security. It is. You're a beautiful. Ooh, ooh. I want to go. I want to go. You have to go back to me. What do you say? I told you. I'm not saying a thing. Yeah, but I said, this isn't the real thing. I need you to help protect the script. Seems like you're not, by the time I pay off these, it's my taxes are due, right? You forgot. You do not pay me anything. Well, exactly. Quite a few years ago, Sally was complaining about materials and taking the focus off the security and the future. I was complaining about the car. For the next year, we sat down with our kids and said, we're going to go over here and get it worked. Oh, that's so good. I can't see my kids doing that. It wasn't an option, and it sounded to be more personal than ours did. There had to be more thought behind each kid. We even extended the policy to the senior family. Weren't they extended? Maybe, but we didn't tell them what their students didn't do. Just that whether they used to be four or five years from us, whatever you wanted to do, we even exchanged names and gave them their duty. I was wondering if they were trying to make a leap. It would have to burn like a massive year. After a few years, Jimmy, our youngest daughter, suggested that we did something as a family to bring the year of crop bread to others. Well, the first year we did the nursing home, even made one of them was good. Then we worked on the angel street, different things. What about this year? This year we're having a family from home with children, treating them to a real family system. What about the budget? We agreed to give the gifts we usually give to each other this year. Where is everybody else? You know, I can see who else when we came here. That's not possible, that's here somewhere. It's not, they're right. Oh, let's see your nose, this one's on the seat. Let's get in the sanctuary. Maybe they're
What are you saying?
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
than that. You know, there, there was no room for crap in the human genome. They turned him away before he was born. Not fair than that. Is there room in your half for me? There's something to go over in our heart. We have no promise of tomorrow. And I don't want to put a damper on my own. I want to have to tell you. The happiest that you can be in this occasion is to have to be anchored inside you. It's not. So I ask you to search your heart. As we go throughout this Christian season, I ask you to search it out and see. And you don't have room. That's your room. That's right. You'll see. You know, a lot of it's just easy to get caught up in a lot of things that show that around this time of year, especially. But we need to keep our eyes focused on what really, what really matters. <coughs> Not just during this season, but the other, the other, the other season as well, all the years. Any good thing that happens to us is brought to us through our Savior. He's the Father of all good things. And we need to be thankful for that. We don't need to take those things for granted, why? And he holds the word, he holds the next step that we take. And we need to realize that. Because this will be taken away at the snapping point. That quick life to play. You see the sun, you say. They told you what the word of God says. This is a happy occasion. It's something to celebrate. So let's celebrate for the right reason. So as we go from this part over to the other part, like I said, you know, we've got some street bags back there. We'd love for you to have one. Uh, as you go, I mean, we've got some trees, we've got some, uh, some finger foods over to the fellowship hall, we've got some uh, stuff you need. We'd love for you to come and be a part of us over there for a few minutes, what time we have over there. And uh, may God bless each one of you. Just kidding. I, I pray that God will give you. Mm-hmm. I pray that you do everything. And most of all, I pray that you get Jesus Christ. And I guess with that, 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 that concludes our, our show. We will really dismiss in prayer before we go. It's right here. Our most kind and almighty God, Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day that you've given us. Father, we thank you for the privilege, God, that, uh, that we have in our land and country that we can come into your house, Father, and that we can. Uh, and praise your name and worship Lord without fear of death, God. Uh, some of these other countries are going through right now, Lord. And, uh, Father, we thank you for the great gift of all and the precious son. We thank you for the great sacrifice that he's taken when he hung and died on the cross of Calvary. God, to give us a privilege, Lord, that uh, we might have life and have it more than this, Father. God, that we can look forward to a greater day, Father, we know in our assurance and maturity that we have an eternal life. <laughs> To his, to his precious blood he said for us. Father, we ask God as we depart from this place, God, if you would take us over to the fellowship hall, maybe we have a little time <laughs> together that we can uh, fellowship, go and laugh. God, if we can, uh, can look over and, and, to, and to, uh, to greet the people, Lord, and, and to, to look up on some old friendships, maybe that we've not, not seen in a while, but we can uh, renew those friendships today. Father, we just pray, God, that you would just watch over us as we leave that place to go to our, to our home. Father, that you would uh, watch over us, Lord, and uh, keep us safe from harm to us as we travel there. And Lord, I pray that you will bless you and be upon each house, Lord, every danger. And throughout this season, God, may your hands of mercy and grace be upon all of us. Father, we pray you this